That BST work. Then <laughs> that BST work. Martin is one of uh, seven new pro players I've had a chance to work with this summer, and you know, that's been big for me personally. But it's also been big as um, far as this vlog because I'm getting the opportunity to show um, the younger, younger generation, um, younger players. Um, just how much work they put in and especially how much work they put in on the basics. Um, game situation, um, scoring within their offense, um, coming off screens, uh, pick and roll, um, and not so much just one-on-one -on -one isolation. Now, we do work on that stuff and I think it's important to, um, to continue to grow your game and um, all of that, but I think it's gotta be in proportion to um, how much you actually do that within your offense on your team. So um, we do a really good job of that. And also on top of that, they spend so much time doing it that they get really efficient. You know, in these workouts, they're shooting 70 to 80%. And that's giving you a different type of confidence coming into the game, knowing that, you know, you didn't put in the time and the reps in situations that you're gonna actually see and you feel ready and prepared. So I think that's really big um, when it comes to training.
Another thing that I think is important to stress, you know, when I, when I talk about them shooting 70 and 80% in their workouts, is just the time they put to get to that level, you know, and the time that they consistently put even once they've gotten to that point, you know, just to keep getting better, keep sharpening their skills. It takes a, a lot of patience and a lot of hard work in order to get there. And I think that's where um, a lot of young athletes, um, I think even myself at some points when I was younger, you know, failed to understand day in, day out, day in, day out, the same thing over and over and over again. And if you're um, diligent and patient enough to, to put in that time every single day, you'll start to see the result. at your craft there's a mental process that you have to go through um, first being honest with yourself as far as your strengths and your weaknesses and then figuring out which of those weaknesses you need to improve on in order to get to the level that you're trying to get to so that's the first part then it's understanding you know how much time and patience it's going to take in order to, to improve but more importantly you know how locked in you have to be during that time and when I say locked in I'm meaning you know you doing the very best you can every second that you're working on it and not falling the trap of judging yourself um, at your current level which then causes you to be impatient and that leads to frustration that you're not further along that's something that you haven't even put the the real time in on yet um, so you know as a trainer my job is to try to kind of create that environment to where they feel comfortable making mistakes and um, just provide as much positive reinforcement as possible. It's always cool having Will and Chris in the same workout. You know, they're brothers, so that brings out a different level of competitiveness within the workout, uh, whether it be seeing who's gonna make more shots in a shooting drill or them playing one-on-one. -on -one. Big bro versus little bro. Uh oh. That competitiveness keeps the energy level high and makes both of them focus on each and every rep. So they both really end up getting better from it.